Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. I've got my coffee here which I'm so excited about because I've kind of been on a caffeine ban um, recently just because of anxiety and stuff and palpitations. I was drinking way too much coffee but I missed it so much so it's back. Oh, But I'm only having one a day. Maybe two. Squeeze two out. Uh, today we're going to be designing some enamel pins for an autumn launch. So autumn is creeping up on us. It is now uh, the 7th of August and it is Wednesday and I need to get these pins sent off because ideally you want your autumn stuff to kind of be up at the end of August to the beginning of September because Halloween stuff starts selling in September. So I would like to get that sort of stuff ready for September. Uh, there isn't going to be any particular autumn -y type of products because I've already got my pumpkin pudding and I've just got my skulls which are here. Um, as you can see these little cute guy, this little skull guy. So cute. So he's going to be part of the autumn range. I also have a witch's hat slash sorting hat. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do any more pastel witch ones this year. I was thinking maybe my spell books that I've got, but not sure about that. I've got a few more designs like the fox pin and stuff that I need to finalise, which you will have seen in my last studio vlog. If you watched them or if you're new here, hello, you can watch that in the last one. I designed a new fox character. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video today. If you don't know, Skillshare is an amazing online platform filled with tons and tons of different classes from art to illustration to even like how to run an Etsy business Etsy SEO so if you're interested in that sort of thing maybe you want to build an Etsy shop like me uh, they've got some fantastic classes online and Skillshare are offering two months free for you guys if you click the link in the description below so definitely check it out two months free classes is amazing I am a huge advocate of always learning and always developing and a lot of my skills that I learned myself were self-taught through going on the internet, doing online classes, uh, doing online YouTube tutorials but the Skillshare videos are fantastic because they're more in depth, they're more like a course than a normal YouTube video. They break it down in different video steps so you can take your time, you can come back to the class and yeah they're an absolutely fantastic resource for creatives and just if you're not even creative and you want to be creative and you want to learn maybe what colour basics or something like that definitely check it out. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. But yeah, today and this vlog is going to be filled with doing kind of enamel pin style products and getting all my enamel pins ready. Then yeah, we're going to get to work on enamel pin stuff and we're going to go for coffee, aren't we then? Yeah. Also, I like your nails. Oh, They're awesome. You. They're huge. <laughs> so, see you in a little bit. I'm in the second studio and it is a mess in here. These shelves need rearranging so bad. But I've got my little box down here that I brought from home and that has all my kind of convention grid box system in and stuff like that. And I brought it in and it's got like this cute bunting in that I used to have in here. But for some reason I took it down. So I put the bunting up and then this is going to be my backdrop. It's a bit messy at the minute. but And then I've also got this which I used to put on my craft fair. But those flowers have seen better days. And I painted this really roughly about three years ago or two years ago when I used to do craft fairs. Uh, but yeah, put some bunting up again. But... Oh man, it just totally needs organising. I've got all my pens and stuff. It's just a big mess. Like, look, everything's hanging out. These are the fairy lights that were in my other studio. What a mess. Now, I've got my coffee and I've got my phone. And I've got my camera ready to set up. A lot of people ask me what this is. This is the Rode Video Mic uh, Micro and it is fantastic for brilliant sound quality. I don't always film on this, but uh, when I do, it gives me great sound quality. I've took the little fluffy cat off, which is usually here, uh, which is normally put on. That's kind of like to stop wind and stuff, like making that annoying wind sound. So yeah, I'm gonna get to recording. Okay. I have just finished recording the assumptions video and I've literally been filming for an hour and a half so that is going to be a very long video to edit and now I think I'm going to get a coffee break because it's now half 12 like what the heck where has this morning gone I've got a lot to do today so let's go on a little coffee break to Craig's and I'm thinking of taking maybe a sketchbook or something and doing some sketches or maybe um, some illustrations on Procreate so let's go shall we I've said it many times, I know 
I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head Nothing to be scared of I'd rather be with you than by myself Now always in your head So you just seen we went for a really nice coffee and it was really nice but I have had two coffees and I've been off coffee for quite some time. I normally get decaf now when I go out and I have the jitters really really bad for some reason especially if I go out for coffee and I get like a coffee from a coffee shop. That affects me a lot more than like normal instant coffee does. Um, probably because the caffeine content is really high so <laughs> yeah I'm going to keep it to one coffee a day on the morning but I'm feeling particularly buzzed today. I've just finished a ginger and spice cabin illustration which I'll show you it's like this I shared it on my Instagram and I'm thinking of making it of a like a print of it or maybe like a postcard don't know if you can see properly but you'll have just seen that anyway uh, it is really really cute I like kind of the atmosphere I created I wanted to do a little bit of a background and a scene of them because uh, I really want to do a illustrated story of Gingy and then one eventually where I meet Spice and stuff like a backstory so yeah I spent way too long on that uh, I just kind of took my time listened to music and got illustrated before I know it an hour and a half had passed it's such a simple looking illustration I don't know how I've just spent that long how much have I actually spent on this illustration um like two and a half I kind of spent two and a half You've hours. You've been doing it since lunch. Yeah, but I didn't do much at lunch. No, but it's now quarter to four. Yes, I spent a long time <laughs> doing this illustration, which is really weird because it don't normally take me that long, but I just kept like experimenting and adding things to it and yeah, like playing around with it. I don't know why it took me this long because I've simplified my style so that it doesn't take me that long, but it did take me that There's long. There's nothing wrong with taking your time, Catherine. Yeah, and I enjoyed it and it, I was kind of just in the zone, so I just kind of enjoyed illustrating it. So yeah, it took way too long on that illustration and have no idea why. Uh, and now I am going to do some stock uh, restocks of stickers. We've only got an hour left and I have sold out with so many things in my Etsy store and my stickers are getting renewed to a newer version so whenever the old version of the stickers run out I have to then make the new design and then relist them and cut them all out and everything so I'm going to get to work on that right now and I'm probably not going to vlog it because I'm just going to get in the zone and kind of get it all out so yeah I'll see you tomorrow when we will design some enamel pins I think uh, so yeah see you soon 
Hello guys and happy Thursday. I've just got in the studio this morning and I was thinking to start my day I would do a little doodle um, because I want to try and start sketching every day again because I used to do that all the time. In the last like couple of months I've kind of let that slip. Uh, I still like to sketch every other day to sometimes only twice a week but I'm definitely trying to incorporate more into my work day so I thought to start my work day as, I, as soon as I get in to do like maybe like a little half an hour doodle so I'm going to do that now on Procreate and then I don't know what of I might just look up a prompt list and pick a random day and yeah just illustrate from there because I have nothing in mind that I want to illustrate right now um, and then I'm going to drink a coffee while I do it and listen to some nice music and then I'm going to create the backing cards for my new enamel pins and send off the new backing cards for the pins that I'm restocking so definitely need to get them done and they should arrive tomorrow if I get them sent off before 12 fingers crossed uh, otherwise I'll have to pay for express delivery because uh, I'm doing a launch on Sunday so yeah. Okay, so I've just finished doing an illustration. I spent about 45 minutes to an hour on it and I enjoyed the coffee and I've just shared it to Instagram and then I've done a little edit in Final Cut Pro for my Instagram TV because I haven't done a time lapse on my Instagram for such a long time. I do exclusive time lapses on my Patreon channel but I do a voiceover on that as well kind of explaining my process through the time lapse but it's been a while since I've added music and kind of done a time lapse so I've just, ooh, I've just done it on uh, Final Cut Pro here and added some music so this is what it sounds like I just simply added some music and then done a Ken Burns effect at the end of it so I'm gonna now share that to Instagram TV and my Instagram stories and use some hashtags and stuff I've really been slacking on the social media game and I need to remember what got me here in the first place and it was doing things like this so definitely going back to my roots and doing what I used to do it's just I got so caught up in the changing of the business and how things were running differently but now things have kind of slotted back into a normal functioning routine I want to get back into doing stuff like this um if you're interested in seeing my time lapses on Patreon, the link is in the comment below. I do one a month and I kind of do a voiceover kind of explaining the process uh, behind the little time lapse. But this is just a little cute one that's a minute long, a really quick snapshot. And I'll insert it here so you can kind of see what I'm on about. So roll a VT. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to, by the way, sorry Natalie and Danielle if you're watching this, I pinched your cup from the kitchen so I'm sorry about that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the backing card for my enamel pin. so uh, time to get to work on that. So I'm going to get to work on that right now so let's go.
Okay, so I'm finished designing the backing cards, uh, but I think I'm just going to edit this one because I've just put it against my other B products that I've got, and I feel like the backing card is too pinky for the B products. So I'm just going to go in Photoshop and edit this backing card here. Why is this not focusing? This B does not like to be focused. Hang on. But yeah, I'm going to go back into Photoshop, edit this backing card to a more yellow tone with orange instead of pink. And yeah, I think the rest are fine. My favourite actually is this skull one. It's like grey going into soft pink and it just looks really cool. And I put little skulls in the background very faintly. I also did that with my french fry, but the skull one for some reason is my favourite. But I love them look how cute so these will be going live well these will have gone live by the time you're watching the studio vlog uh because it's now thursday and i'm planning to launch these on uh sunday so now i think i'm just going to use this backing card to take the photos so that the photos are already done and ready to go live on sunday so i'm going to get that done today and i also have a film a video to edit today the assumptions video which will be going up sunday as well so Got to get that sorted. Let's go, shall we? Hello, guys, and happy Monday. You may be aware, but we are back in my old studio because, like I said, I don't know if I said this earlier in the vlog, but or if I said it in last week's vlog, I really want to use this space again because it's really nostalgic to me, even though it was like only a year ago that I was in here properly working. Uh, it's really like kind of nostalgic and cozy. It has like a really cozy feel in here, and it's like a super rainy day outside today, so it's just a really nice vibe. I can look directly up the window i've got my blinds open like this and i've got all my big photography lamps and everything it needs a lot doing to it like it used to have obviously the pegboard up here and i used to have like my decor really pretty whereas now it's kind of just all over the place so i would like to slowly change it back to how it was as a creative space but i was thinking every morning i'm gonna try and do a drawing or a doodle to kind of get my head into it and then kind of focus yesterday you seen i came into the studio with zero makeup on in the comfiest clothes possible and and I was literally running around the studio barefoot. I had a lot of coffee and it was ready for my enamel pin launch. So that's what I did yesterday. And I also restocked a lot of stickers and things like that ready for the launch so that some stickers that were best sellers were back in stock. Um, which obviously helps people not pay double the shipping if they wanted that product because it was uh, if they were ordering the new enamel pins they could also order those stickers so i got that done yesterday it was crazy uh, thank you so so much for all your support i cannot believe the amount of orders we've got on so i will be packing orders and stuff but i really want to get that fox enamel pin designed well it's already designed but i want to get it actually ready to send off to the pin manufacturer so that's what we're going to be doing now so let's get to work shall we Okay, I'm done. Finally finished the little enamel pin. I had to turn the overhead lights off because of the glare of the light directly above Procreate. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to buy another paper like screen protector because I took it off because uh, I didn't enjoy illustrating on it. But if I'm gonna do more overhead Procreate work, then basically I'm gonna have to get it. Anyway, I finished the enamel pin. And this is what it turned out like. Uh, it's going to be a little small, uh, maybe one inch size enamel pin. So, 
yeah really really cute i did have an issue with the leg here because i'm thinking if she was sat you wouldn't see the leg but then what do i do about this bit but yeah that's kind of the issue i had with this but i think when it's a small pin this won't really matter because it would kind of be hidden if not a tiny bit would be peeking out here but for a pin that might look a bit confusing like she's got an extra toe or something so i decided not to add that in uh for pin purposes uh so yeah <laughs> that's the final design i'm really really happy with how it turned out and i think i'm gonna end the studio vlog here guys i have no idea what footage i've got says every studio vlog i just literally have picked up the camera and kind of went with it this week um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this studio vlog i will see you in next week's one please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already uh that would mean the world thank you so much my beautiful marshmallows for all your support and thank you so so much to our patrons who make these videos possible by allowing me to dedicate the time to film them and edit them when we're busy in the business because then I can employ Mike and Emily. So thank you so so much everyone. I'll see you very soon. Alright then. Love you. Goodbye.